Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Venus has transited to the sign, the royal sign of Leo, and it's going to be there till 23rd October. Is that the correct date? Yes, 23rd October this year. And on 23rd, it's going to enter its sign of debilitation, which is Virgo, and it will stay there for quite some time. All right, so Leo is a royal regal sign. It's the sign of power, position, name, fame, authority, status, reputation, what people think of you, <laughs> or who you think you are. Why? Because Leo is the sign which is ruled by the king, the sun. So what happens when any planet transits uh, the sign ruled by the sun? Mm -hmm. That's something we shall discuss today, all right? So if you're new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, you can go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him even if Venus is in Leo or Virgo. <laughs> all right. Now, um, many times people think that uh, this uh, transit of Venus in Leo is uh, going to be very good or going to be very good uh, bad. The other way, people think it's extreme sometimes. But actually, um, it depends on your uh, overall chart, how this transit will be for you. Okay? So for example, if your Venus is having any link with the sun in your original birth chart, then you will always see that this uh, transit of Venus in Leo every year, it's going to be quite prominent for you. Okay, But if you see that... Uh, there's no link uh, with sun in your birth chart, then this transit may not be so prominent in there. It means it may not be something which you feel. It may be like just another transit which comes and goes. Okay? Now, uh, many times people have uh, sun and Venus conjunct in the horoscope in many cases. Uh, so therefore, most of the people will feel this transit or maybe uh, your sun and Venus are in different signs, but uh their venus is combust so for example if venus is in zero degree of one sign and sun is in the 29 degree of the previous sign then also venus is combust although it's in a different sign if your venus is combust also then you can feel this more okay or there's another condition where you can feel this transit more if your sun is either in libra or taurus because now uh, it's like an exchange which means your sun originally is in the sign of Venus and now your Venus in current transit is transiting in the sign Leo, which is ruled by the sun. So these are some conditions. Or if Venus is linked with the fifth house, then also you could feel the effects of this transit more because uh, the fifth house is originally ruled by the sun, number five, Leo. <laughs> so, um, or if Venus is... Uh, linked with your fifth lord or aspected by your fifth lord even then you will feel um, this transit more uh, compared to others right so therefore it literally depends or if you're running sun mahadasha sun antadasha then also you will feel this transit or more prominently is if you are running like sun venus or venus sun something like this okay um, yeah then you will feel this or either if you are just running venus mahadasha or venus antardasha then also you will feel this because um, the transit of the antardasha and the mahadasha lord becomes very crucial all right so now <coughs> uh, what does venus represent venus represents our ability to love our ability to make things more beautiful more attractive more charming more appealing uh, venus is deity value added tax <laughs> yes it's the VAT anything that you see you know it's like uh, anything which has VAT <laughs> that's Venus actually right so Venus represents those things which even if we do not have in our life uh, we won't die we can still survive and live but if we have it makes life a bit more appealing and it makes life a bit more worth living so therefore, uh, Venus is a very important planet when it comes to astrology. And 
not only uh, on a material sphere it it is a very important planet when it comes to the spiritual realm also because now venus rules attraction basically so when venus is at a tamasic level it can show attraction for um, some something very physical like you get attracted to body body of uh, opposite sex that's like venus at tamasic level which is very low level animalistic propensities uh, sexual desires carnal desires as they say then venus can go at a rajasic level where uh, you are in a partnership with somebody and you like the other person for who they are but still it's rajasic which means you will like the person only if they fulfill your desires and they will like you if you fulfill their desires otherwise push off i have nothing to do with you you have nothing to do with me right that's what rajasic venus is and then there is a venus which is at a satvic level where uh, this venus uh, tries to find uh, happiness selflessly by giving love and uh, by going towards spirituality finding uh, a spiritual path to which that person can be committed to rather than running behind uh, materialistic things okay so that's what is like a satvic venus and so therefore um, it's very important that we refine our venus by uh doing more spiritual practices related to venus and doing the necessary lifestyle changes which we need to do for venus so i have a video on venus remedies so i will put it here on the top at the end of the video so you can watch that if you want to improve your venus and uh therefore uh, when venus uh, transits the sign of leo now what happens what's leo leo is the sign ruled by the sun we know but then what's the sun you have to understand uh, what the sun represents sun represents our conception of being in this material world okay? sun represents uh, who we think we are not who we are that's represented by jupiter but who we think we are so now you may have a lot of identities you may have done bachelor's masters you may have done phd or you might be married you may be the husband of somebody you may be the wife of somebody you may be the son of somebody you may be the daughter of somebody so what do you think about yourself <laughs> if i ask you that the uh, write a uh, five uh, three three letter uh, bio data what would you write uh, would you write uh, mm, i'm the guru guru comma spiritualist comma philosopher or will you write you know, husband comma father comma wife or whatever anything it can be anything <laughs> or you write you know i am like uh, astrologer or comma numerologist comma philanthropist whatever what do you think you know, those, those first three words so let me know in the comments what do you think that those three words are if i ask you describe yourself in three words what are those three words which you write about yourself what is that which you primarily identify with now you may or may not be that that's separate but you identify yourself you may say oh i am an indian you know i have a, a german or a canadian passport but you may identify yourself with india for some reason you so then you may say oh identify i identify myself as an indian or i identify myself as an american or as a russian or a french or like whoever <laughs> so <clears throat> so therefore um, that's what exactly the sign of leo represents okay so therefore when venus transits the sign of leo this can be a very uh, peculiar situation depending on your nature and your overall horoscope this can be um, this can be very extreme this on the good side or on the bad side also so uh, what are the positives which can come out so the the most the the best thing which can happen when venus transits leo is you can check your identification related to the houses which venus rules in the chart so for example if uh, venus rules your uh, fourth house for example then you can check what kind of an identity do you have when it comes to your mother or your home or your property okay or your education it could be either of them depending on your chart and dashas so if venus is your seventh lord you could check what kind of an identification what are those three words which i can write about myself when it comes to uh, that particular house okay 
so that's the positive side so it is it's a good time for us to reinstantiate our beliefs and our identity related to that particular house those two houses i mean which venus rules because venus rules two houses primarily the sign of libra because libra is the moon tripon sign of venus and taurus is the own sign so wherever libra and taurus is in your house those houses will undergo a reality check now so therefore if you feel that um, there is particular uh, this these two areas of your life which venus rules in the chart you lack identification you lack uh, a sense of commitment towards these areas then uh, it's a great time for you to find purpose in that what what venus represents in your chart okay so therefore do not waste this time this time till october 23rd because it can happen because see this will happen when whenever any planet transits leo but uh, when venus transits it's even more important i'll tell you the reason why because uh, venus rules libra as you know so when venus rules libra what what is libra libra is give and take basically okay? uh, three words give and take <laughs> So what's this give and take policy? Give and take means um, I give you something, provided you give me something. So I will nourish you, I will nurture you, provided you nurture and nourish me back. So during uh, during such a behavior, what can happen is sometimes uh, we might try to uh, please ourselves more, or we might try to please the other person more, and by that we might end up depriving ourselves or the other person. So therefore. Uh, venus shows balance okay? not that venus is balanced but uh, you have a tendency to balance the areas where venus sits in the house uh, because venus carries the traits of libra it's just simple like that so therefore uh, we might lose ourselves or the partner or the spouse or the husband wife in some cases because we may become too much self-centric or because of low self-esteem, we may go out, go away from ourselves. When um, when we talk of Venus, trying to please the other person too much in a way that sabotages our own life and self-esteem. Yes, uh, that happens sometimes. When people go through all this, or people do it sometimes. So therefore, when Venus transits Leo, it's a great time to pull back, okay? pull back and see what I should be doing within this area of my life. Am I doing good? Am I doing right? Am I going correct or am i going the other way around so identify yourself you know what are those three words which you uh, say for yourself okay so that's something which you could do during this transit and once you identify these areas or first of all you have to identify do you have any identification at all or not because if uh, your sun is weak in the chart and venus is not well placed then you will feel that oh venus has transited leo but I don't get any feeling actually. Okay, so what do, what is that which you identify with? So do you you have to first check do you have or not any identification? If you don't have, then you have to find something. Okay? And once you find, then you can uh, understand how should I take uh, how should I take my life ahead from this position. And once you do that, then you take the necessary steps where you feel I do not have a strong identification towards this area of my life. And this is where I think I should be. Okay. So therefore, this requires some level of introspection and uh, uh, inner work. Uh, you, you can't just sit and take a pen and write. You know, it, it won't happen like that. So you have to bit sit uh, and meditate. You know, you have to like uh, think uh, and uh, you have to ponder upon some time. Maybe you can take some time out. Uh, in first week of October, you know, like some weekend for one or two hours, you just sit and meditate and you think what's going on regarding the houses which Venus rules in your chart. And then you will find uh, that inner voice, the Paramatma inside will guide you to find out the right identification areas which you should have in your life regarding the houses which Venus rules in the chart. All right, thank you very much for your patience. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want to watch some Venus related videos, I'll put them here. And if you want a consultation from me, please go to my website down in the description section. All right, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and you'll find it.